My name is Felix Holst and I am an artist. I'm from Newcastle upon Tyne in the northeast of England, uh, but I now live in SoCal. Uh, I moved here 15 years ago to work for Mattel Toys and specifically Hot Wheels, Matchbox. I had a wonderful career there as head of design for Hot Wheels. Um, and I'm now in startup land. Uh, I've always, I've always been, a, I've always been an artist. I've always, like from from year one, the two things that I've always been, is I've always been an artist, and I've always been obsessed with cars. And and I, I'm fortunate that my mom was a, a fashion designer, my dad was an engineer, my dad was obsessed with cars, and so I had a, a, a lifelong education in art and design before I even went to school. Um, but inevitably, I, I study design. I'm an industrial designer by trade, and I've managed so far to weave a career combining all of my loves, uh, which you know I guess that should make me a happy guy. I was going to go and be. A, I always wanted to be a car designer, and I was preparing my portfolio to go to the RCA to do a master's in car design in London, um, and I needed a kind of part-time gig. And I just happened to answer a small ad for an intern at Hot Wheels UK, which, uh, which used to be Corgi, another famous British toy car brand. And I, I took a six month temp contract and within six weeks, I'd spent a week in Milan and two weeks in California. I designed hot rods um, and I realized I was really good at it. And all dreams and aspirations of being a car designer at that point disappeared out the window um, as I realized that I was actually you know, born to be a Hot Wheels designer. Um, you know, th th there's, there's a phrase when, when, when the best job in the world becomes a pain in the ass. Um, I think that's my phrase, actually. Um, when the best job in the world becomes a pain in the ass, you've got to make a change. And uh, I was frustrated with how mass manufacturing works in the world and was obsessed with technology and how the world was changing rapidly. And so I, I, I jumped ship and decided to, to go on the journey. Um, and, and, and become a, a tech entrepreneur um, and so now I'm piloting a tech startup still in the world of car design um, but you know um, I can I, I believe in the future and I believe in ideas and, and and I think that ideas is what makes the world go round so you know I'm, f I'm five years in to a fairly complex journey um, it's all business I didn't ever intend to, 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 to be to be leading a, a startup um, and I didn't ever intend to be putting investment decks together. Um, my escape has been my, uh, my, my other loves, my love of, of cars, uh, specifically German cars, specifically Porsches, um, and also back, back to art. You know, I've always painted. I've painted um, all the way through my career, from being a kid, to being a design student, to being a designer, to being a, a, a musician in a rock band to being a designer and now to being um, a, a tech entrepreneur. Painting has always been a release for me. And I guess I'm, always, I'm fortunate that, that, that everything I've ever painted, somebody has wanted to buy from me. And so, you know, I know there's a lot of struggling artists out there who may scoff, but, um, you know, I think, that, I think that me combining painting and design has always, has always been a benefit to me. And it's something I love. Um, and I've always painted what I loved, whether it's, whether it's brutalist architecture in the north of England, whether it's the rolling landscapes of Northumberland, or the dramatic landscapes of California, or whether it's the cars that turn me on, whether that's, you know, Porsches or hot rods, customs, um, then, then, then combining those things in, in, into something that's a living and breathing entity on canvas is, 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 is both a release for me um, but it's also something that, that, that I have great passion for doing. I, every painting I paint is a learning experience um, and I get to combine my love of um, art, music, cars, punk rock, design, um, and, 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 and I hope to show the passion for that in, in, the, in the way that I paint. Um, so this, this painting, um, I, I actually worked on this painting for, for, for quite some time. Um, it, it, it was born out of, it's actually, it's based on a photograph I took um, at the second Lufkehold. Um I I took a photo of a, of, a, of, a, of an ST tribute, um, and it's it's my it's my it's my favourite of all the 911s. I love that white body squat kind of rally stance, um, and so 
um, this 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 painting was just a natural. It was it was a, it was a natural experiment. But I I, I wanted to put some the car that I, I think the car that I based it on was actually white. Um, but one of the things that I've always loved is 1960s illustration. Um, whether it's like whether it's the art you see on trash novels from the 60s or 70s. Or whether it's um, the way that that, that that car designers, certainly American car designers of the '60s, used to used to used to paint with this almost like hyper real sci-fi feel, um, and then obviously from my career, the, the 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 art from the original Hot Wheels packaging and the original Matchbox packaging, which was this psychedelic, dynamic, action-packed style. Um, was something I wanted to experiment with, and so you see in, in the painting, um, in this particular painting, you'll 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 see this this collage of clashing colours, and then um, you know, I've always been obsessed with graffiti. I I, 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 I was a graffiti artist as a as a as a teenager. Um, I've, I've carried that through all of my art, whether that's in stencil or whether that's in in free form, um, uh, rattle can. Um, and so I wanted to bring that, those elements, those dynamics of stencil work and, and, and free form blending of colors um, in, 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 into the painting to bring a bit of life to it. I like to paint memories, you know, I, I, like to paint, I don't like to do, I don't like my paintings to be still life. I, I like to paint memories. I, I like to use colors which are kind of dreamlike. Um, I like to build layers of depth. Um, and I like to put a little bit of psychedelia, a little bit of kind of altered reality into things. And so, you know, this painting, this painting combines all of those things with, with, you know, with my passion for one of the, you know, the, the Porsche 911 in, in all of its cases is one of the most iconic pieces of design in the automotive world. Um, and, 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 and I kind of, I, I just wanted to do something a bit different. I wanted to do something a little bit punk rock. Um, I, I hesitate to say how I paint because I love to paint, um, and creating a work of art and creating something that makes a bold statement, um, and combining the things that I love and, and my friends love and, and, a, and a global community of people love and putting it down in a different way. I, my, my intention was never to just paint another picture of a car. Um, I, 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 I want to paint in a way that makes, um, all members of a household feel there's a piece of art on the wall that's not just a picture of a car, that's a piece of art, that it's a dramatic and bold statement, that if you've got a house that, 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 that has the room to put a big piece of colour on the wall, then it should be this really beautiful thing first, and then, oh, it's a Porsche, oh, it's a Cadillac. Um, and and, and, and my, you know, my hope is, my hope is that, that that passion comes through. Um, I try not to take myself too seriously. I, I think it's it's more about kind of having some fun, having some fun with art and design. You know, I don't do I don't do this for a living. Um, I do this as a release from what I do for a living. Um, and at the same time, if I can create beautiful things that people people enjoy, then that's a that's a big big benefit. I, I know John Benden. I don't know him very well, if I'm for, if I'm honest. But he's very very close to a lot of my very close friends. And all of the times I've interacted and, and hung out with John at parties or, or, or car shows, he's. He's such a lovely guy, and and the cars that I've seen um, and, 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 and and touched and, and been in that he's worked on um, are just absolutely fantastic. I love his attitude. I love his style. Um, I, I I respect him as a character in in, in the scene here in SoCal. Um, and when I heard, I was preparing for SEMA, um, where and and you know which is always an exciting time. Um, when I heard what happened with John and, and, you know, John through no fault of his own lost his entire business and, and, and inventory because the building next door to him burnt down. Um, I heard it was something in the region of $3 million worth of cars and rare parts. I mean, parts that any Porsche enthusiast would, would probably push their mother under a tree and to own. Um, and so it wasn't just about, you know, this guy I know losing his business. It was, it was about how how much passion I know he has for the things that went up in flames. And I'm in a situation where I, I can't really, I'm busy, as a lot of us are, and I, I, I was frustrated that I couldn't help. 
Um, and then and then I, I kind of had this idea that, you know what, I'm just finishing this Porsche painting. Um, it was not, you know, I, I've been working on this, this painting on and off for, 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 for a couple of years, really. And, and it was hanging in my office wall. And, and I was like, what am I going to do with this? I didn't paint it for myself. I, I, I wasn't sure. And then, and then the idea came that, hey, man, like, if there's something I can do to, to help John, um, and, and in fact, if there's something that I can do to help the community help John, um, then I think that's a kind of cool thing, you know? Um, and so um, I, I decided to put it up for auction. And, and you know, um, hopefully someone will get a painting they love, and then hopefully we'll raise a little bit of money to help Jan John um, just with the transitional period um, because obviously there's insurance involved, but that stuff takes a long time and, 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 and you know, it's in everyone's benefit to get people like John back up on their feet as fast as possible. You know, it's, it's an interesting thing, right? I, over the past, over the past few years, I've sold my, I've sold my car collection on Bring a Trailer. Um, and for years before that, I, I was one of those guys sitting at his desk with his morning coffee and Hot Wheels frantically scanning, um, scanning the, uh, the, 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 the Craigslist bring a trailer listings. Um, I've bought a couple of things on bring a trailer. Um, and it, it seemed to me that, that when you're, when you're an automotive artist and you know, you're painting a specific thing for a sp specific crowd in this case, I, I paint vintage cars. Um, then, then that's the perfect community. Um, it's the perfect community to throw something out there, try something new. Um, you obviously live live and die by your sword, um, having listed four cars with uh, with Rob um, over the past few years. You live and die by your sword and bring a trailer. Like if someone doesn't like your stuff, they're going to say it. Um, and part of it is, I just thought it was it, it was a good, fun way to engage the global enthusiast community around a good cause. Um, and, 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 and you know it's, it's it's the holidays, man. You know, let's let's see what happens. Let's see, let's see if we can. Let's see how much people want to give for a, a, for a canvas with some acrylic paint on it, um, and 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 to kind of just give John that extra boost to get himself back on his feet as fast as possible, and continue building fantastic cars.